Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to my channel, Midlife Adulting, where I talk about things. Things that you need to do to be adulting properly. Do I consider myself the expert on these things? No. Do I need to learn to do these things better? Yeah. Welcome along on my journey. So today I wanted to do a video about how gratitude has changed my life. And I wanted to talk about it today because I have something specific in mind that I am grateful for. And that is the sudden burst in my channel growth. It's a tiny burst. It's a little, little, little burst, but it's huge to me. And so I am very grateful for it. And I wanted to share, I guess, my gratitude journey. Is that even a thing? I mean, we talk about budget journeys and we talk about health journeys and we talk about birth stories, but we don't talk about gratitude journeys. So here's mine. Gratitude is a very positive practice that I learned about when I had very little that I wanted to be positive about in my life. I learned about it at a work event that was motivational, personal development, manifestation, business growth experience. And it's a four day thing. And they invited staff to it, even though it was very focused on our industry and we're supportive to the industry, but we're not in the industry. But it was such a great experience being able to do this. And that was my first exposure to gratitude as a practice. Now I learned that gratitude is almost painful at first especially if you are already ick about it. Like sitting around the table at dinner and some well-meaning aunt says, let's all go around the table and say what we're grateful for. And all you can think of as you develop a cold sweat and panicky thoughts, oh my God, what am I supposed to say? Family is trite, dinner is trite. It all sounds fake, it's not genuine. What am I supposed to say? I don't know, uh, that feeling, that kind of, it's cheesy, it's woo woo, I cannot right? Once you get past that, it does get easier. So repeating gratitudes daily helped me not be so uncomfortable having things to be grateful for and expressing those things to be grateful for, to be honest. And honestly, there is a special kind of glow another person gets when you can offer up something about them that you are genuinely grateful for. And it is often, but not always accompanied by tears. When you can make somebody tear up because of something that you're genuinely grateful for about them and you express it to them, like, that's heckin' awesome. And I've had that experience a couple of times and each time it does you so good to know that what you have expressed to someone else has done them so good. Grammar bad, but message good. I believe there is a connection between gratitude and manifestation. And before you click off, I am not talking about the manifestation that when you think about it, it's gonna happen. I'm not talking about thinking about something and then it magically appears with absolutely no effort on your part. You don't think about wanting a thousand dollars and then just get a thousand dollars next day in the mail. Manifestation in my mind does not work like that. Gratitude as a manifestation tool does help me focus on the things that I want to manifest in my life, the things that I want to draw to me, the experiences that I wanna have, the goals that I want to achieve. Because when I'm focused on what I wanna manifest, I work for and look for or opportunities that are gonna make it happen. It also helps when I'm focused on what I'm grateful for and what I want to manifest, I think differently about opportunities that pop up that may lead to what I'm looking to achieve. All that said, what does manifestation have to do with gratitude? I found that finding things that I was grateful for that hadn't happened yet helped me find those things in my life. The example that I feel like displays this is I am grateful that there is a hole in traffic when I'm ready to leave the parking lot that lets me get into the traffic flow easily. Now, is that making traffic move so I can get out? No, but am I looking for that hole that makes it easy for me to get into traffic? Absolutely. And did my gratitude for it put it there? It did not. My gratitude for it helped me search for it and identify it when I found it and take advantage of it. My favorite example is rain. When, and I've had this happen more than once, I'll be driving home and the sky is gloomy and I will just tell myself, I am so grateful that the worst of the rain holds off until I get home. And what that has done for me is not stop the rain from falling from the sky. What it helps me do, it makes me look for ways to be grateful for the rain. Whether it's the rain is only sprinkling when I get home and I can get in with my clean dry laundry, 
mostly clean and dry. Whether I am driving through a downpour and when I park my car, the rain is not driving as hard as it was before. And with a towel strategically placed on top of my laundry, I can get everything but the towel in dry. Those kind of circumstances, it just helps you look at things differently. It's still raining, but thank goodness it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Gratitude has helped me become more confident. And what I mean by that is I became more comfortable in my body with gratitudes by saying, I am so grateful for my body. I am so grateful that my legs can move my body around. I am so grateful that my legs can carry me up a flight of stairs. I am so grateful that my body is carrying me through life. It just helped me be more comfortable. Gratitude has helped me become more secure in my skills and ability at work. Oddly enough, I have become more confident in what I can do and I am more comfortable putting my foot down with things that I'm not comfortable with or with things that are outside of my abilities and more comfortable figuring out how to do things that maybe be, I thought were beyond my abilities and I figured out a way to do it. Gratitude has allowed me to try things that I had previously considered too scary or out of reach like YouTube. And, and treating gratitudes like affirmations and a mental workout, it's changed me. It just really has. Without gratitude, I would not have even had the thought that I could ask my doctor about antidepressants, and much less actually get on them and find the combination of things that have helped me function. Without gratitude, I would not have been able to face the most stressful event that my family has ever had to endure. Ultimately, conclusively, in conclusion, there's always something to be grateful for, even if that's as simple as waking up in the morning and appreciating my first conscious lung full of air. I will say, some people will tell you that when you are practicing gratitude, that you need to pick significant, specific things. Something that happened the day previously, something genuine, and that gratitude's like, I am so grateful to have woken up this morning. I am so grateful for my family, that those don't count, that those aren't good enough. Crap, I call crap, they are good enough. Start where you can start, and if what you could start with is, I'm grateful I woke up this morning, because everything else has been so miserable. That is the thing that you can identify as a gratitude, whether it's, I'm so grateful my car made it that last few miles to the gas station when it told me I had one mile left of gas, whether it's, I'm so grateful I don't have to vacuum this week because my kids are gonna do it, whether it's, I'm so grateful my kids are healthy, I'm so grateful it was easy to brush my hair this morning, I'm so grateful my lipstick didn't smear, that all counts. It all counts. So even though this has been all over the place, I think I covered my stuff. Do you have things to be grateful for? Having brought this whole conversation up about gratitude, I did a thing. I decided to make a savings challenge, not because I know what I'm doing, not because I'm fantastic at saving yet, but because I guess this resonated with me the best. I've called it simply the gratitude savings challenge. Each icon suggested worth $5 for a total of $275 saved, there are 55 blocks or icons. And each time you stuff an envelope or add cash to your piggy bank, write a note with what you are most grateful for at that moment and include it. So if you're stuffing envelopes and folding your cash in half, stick a note in between the cash because then when you go to unstuff, you're gonna remember all of these things you're grateful for. The other option is consider adding your gratitudes to the following boxes you have 56 blocks where you can write in your gratitudes and match them up to what you wrote on the other side. And then at the end, you not only have the knowledge that you've saved money, but also the gratitudes to go along with it. Especially if you're not in the practice of being grateful, this could be a great way to start. But I will link this in the description below and enjoy it. And I would love to see anyone's video that has used it. So drop a comment about that if at some point, if you decide it's worth your time. And when I get to the point of budgeting, I will try to make this part of my practice. I'm actually kind of super psyched about it. That is all I have for this video. I hope you have a fabulous day and if you're not having a fabulous day I hope you're having an okay day and if you're not having an okay day I hope tomorrow is better and I will see you next time bye bye